Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Binding of Isaac with me, Hanedu, or Honey2, whatever. I need to stop doing that joke because it's probably getting old. We're at, like, what, episode 127? 128? I don't even know anymore. But it's probably getting really old. Ugh, and so is Eve. But we're already here, so let's just do it. We even found our boss room right away. So that's pretty cool. New joke? I don't know new jokes. I'm like a dad. I just rehash the same old joke over and over and over again. And no one finds it funny until they're dads. And then once they become a dad, it's like, oh my god, this is the greatest humor ever. It's not old. It's moved into the realm of classic. I don't know. I just... It's my intro. And yes, I'm streaming again. Because it's hell of a lot more fun than just recording. All by my lonesome. I'm tempted to get hit just so that Dead Bird can float around and help me, but I don't want to, so I'm not gonna. Because I'm a cat, apparently, and can't decide what I want. Which is probably accurate, given the cat girl persona that I have, that I occasionally use when playing and streaming. But unfortunately, I don't I don't have one today. I guess I could start doing uh, the... What, what could I do for a different intro joke? Hi, I'm Honey 2. Yes, I killed Honey 1. Or something along those lines. You know, just to be silly. So anyway, <laughs> now that that nonsense is out of the way, um, we're playing as Eve, and she sucks because she's got a three-fourths damage multiplier, so she only does 75% of the damage everyone else has. She also has the dead bird, which would be good if it wasn't retarded. Um, and... I guess if I'm- if I play terribly or strategize weird, I can become the Horror of Babylon, which gives me a nice damage boost. Not that that would ever really be a good idea, because it relies on me taking a ton of damage. And now we have a teleport, so that's cool. Like, legitimately, that's actually pretty cool. It can't take us to the top secret- or not top secret. It can't take us to the I am air room like the telepills can, but we'll always have a teleport. Which means we can go in here, check out what we get, and teleport back out. Nice, huh? And we do have a bomb. Guess it was right there, instead. That sucks. So, Jesus Juice is our first special item. It's also a pretty damn good item. So, I can't remember if that's one of the ones that has an accurate description or not, so I'm just gonna pretend that I don't know. <clears throat> this room, again. Shit. I can't angle my shots for shit. <laughs> Ow, that sucked. But we did get the secret room out of it. That's cool. Which means that we can sneak in here without having a key. Yay! Portable slot. I actually would rather take that than the teleport. That's not true. I'll take the teleport for now. I'll take the portable slot later. That room always bugs me because it's not symmetrical. Like, it could be symmetrical, but it's not. It's like one one point off. And we've already taken red heart damage, so what the hell? Oh. Okay. Hello, Guppy's Paw. We're, we're taking this now. Because we're Babylon. Forever. And if you don't want to be Horror Babylon forever, well, that's on you, buddy. That's on you. Plus we're one-third of the way to Guppy already, so that's amazing, even though we didn't get the Devil Room here. Can't argue with that. Really, though, uh, Guppy's Paw is really good for Eve because of that whole getting down to no red hearts and being more Babylon. So I think we made the right choice in this. 
because it's actually really good. Like, we can still get the portable slot if we get a lot of money. That's right, blow him up, damn it. What? How did that not... Okay, there we go. I'm gonna pretend that it only had... It only took one bomb and gave us two keys. That's what we're gonna pretend. Oh, and it's pinned. And it's pinned. I'm really tempted to just use a bomb because pin's so annoying. And not in like he's a difficult way, just he takes a while. And I'm lazy. I don't want to deal with this shit. Right, wire hanger, yeah, definitely. Let's see if we can't find some money. Because if we can find some money and reef and fight pin like two or three more times, it would just be awesome. Yep, can't stop the gups. <laughs> the gups. And I should not have done that because I would rather have gotten into the secret room. Oh well. Goodbye, portable slot. We could have done awesome things, but you know, then we didn't. So we'll get a we'll get a red heart on this floor from that, which we are immediately going to eat with Guppy's paw. Which I guess isn't really being eaten. But sure, let's say it is. Because I don't know. And then we get the relic. Awesome. The relic is a really good drop for this. Because now I'll have soul hearts forever. Forever and ever. Ow. That was kind of dumb. Thankfully, Dead Bird is completely done as hell. No one ever answered my question if I always have my head tilted awkwardly to the side. I don't know. I, ugh. For those of you watching on YouTube and have no idea what I'm talking about, that was something that came up when I was. I caught myself in the camera while typing between two episodes. So now you know. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too silly. Yes, I do always have my head cocked awkwardly to the side. It kind of sucks. Oh, hey, Small Rock. You're pretty awesome. And I like everything about you. Since we already have a special item, I'm just going to take it. Damn it. Nothing I could do about that. Another mini boss. I'm getting sick of your shit, game. I'm getting sick of your shit. <sighs> Maybe just a tiny bit. No! It's kind of awkward. I'll just have to fix that with science. Now I am going to try and kill the blue head last, because I do want to have a better chance. Like I would much rather get... Not open. I would much rather get the attack fly than shoot the... Oh, check that out. Get the attack fly. Hello forever alone. And an extra bombs trinket. Once again, I'm going to attempt, as best I can, to get the Gurgles to open this for me. Perfect. Now we can brutally murder them. Wahaha, ha ha ha. Alright, kill that. Kill that. And we found our boss room. Nice. I aimed my tears in the wrong direction that time. What do we have here? Oh, we have the husk. This shouldn't be too difficult. I sometimes wonder if I'm gonna forget what the hell all these bosses are called, because I always skip past. I always skip the uh, title screen for them. 
Yeah. Oh no, look at all these flies. Yeah, I'm just gonna chew my way through thanks to being poor Babylon. Oh, really? Really, game? Alright, so we're gonna take this in case there's a one heart devil deal. Oh, it's Krampus. Alright, well, that was dumb then. Oh, perfect. That worked out. Yeah, flies everywhere. I'm just gonna try and let my dead bird handle this as much as I can. Because I feel like I'm just taking more damage than I really need to right now. And my dead bird's doing a pretty good job. Why shouldn't I let him just brutally murder this guy? Turn off my fan because it's getting cold in here. Okay, there's probably one or two rooms left that we can explore. We can check for the secret room, and then we can get out of here. Assuming I don't walk into walls. Which is kind of a thing I do. Yep, walking into walls. Alright, so there's just one room left, it's just fine. You may notice my tiers are much smaller. That's just because of the way... That's just the way that Lump of Coal works. Making them do more damage as time goes on. You feel... Oh, that's what that is. My knee was resting against the, the desk, and it was shifting the whole desk, which is what was making my camera shake. I apologize. Okay, bunch of money, which means we're going to the shop. Hopefully we'll get something good in there. A battery. Yeah, I'll take it. That way, if we do end up getting rid of our Guppy's paw, we'll get something decent out of it. But I don't think we're going to trade this in for anything. Have we gotten anything out of the devil room so far? Or just the camp just Krampus? Because I know we got Guppy out of a What the hell was that? That was out of this, the curse room. Hmm. Yeah well, we'll figure it out when we get there. Either we'll get an angel room or we won't. One of the two. This does nothing for us right now, because we have no hearts. So it can't really double the number of red hearts we have. The number is zero. And you can't multiply by zero. You get nothing out of it. Hey, Larry Jr. You want to give me a soul heart? Well, okay. If you say so, double of nothing is still nothing. Exactly. So that's our soul heart from Larry Jr. Got two bombs for the price of one, another key. And I'm gonna take the red patch, because I don't want to just have bomb drops the whole game. I would like to get other drops too. So yeah. I'll just let the dead bird float around uselessly for a bit. I do- I have no hearts. I have no heart. I am a heartless bastard. That's why it's, uh, that's why it's Wrath of the Bitch. If you weren't paying attention. To all the thumbnails that I've put up. That we painstakingly made. Well, that I had painstakingly made- painstakingly made for me. Because I'm, uh, not good at that sort of thing. Speaking of which, thank you again for the title cards. The person who made them is in the channel and knows... She, she knows who it is. Can I, can I not get that soul heart? That sucks! What a bitch thing to do! <laughs> Thanks, game! Now I definitely need Guppy so that I can get flight. Because that was bullshit. That was some bullshit. 
Uh, this game. It does the silliest things. Okay. So here's what's gonna happen. We're apparently not gonna get a curse room. Not curse room. Devil room. Nope. No devil room. Well, let's go search everything else out, I guess. We'll find our item room, and then we'll get the hell out of here. On the bright side, because of all this health that we've gotten, we've got a good supply of soul hearts. Which is pretty damn amazing. Like, seriously, it's pretty awesome. And a red heart that I don't need. There's our item room. Thank you. Thank you, game. And for once, I have keys that actually let me into it. So I don't have to go searching around for extenuous keys. Because the game decided to give me a big who the fuck cares. Uh, and a halo of flies. I like halos of flies. They're super useful. They're super useful. So, down we go, and down we go. Uh, let's try to not get hit in this room. It's really easy to not get hit in this room, but it's also really easy to get hit. So, you know. Now you have a bunch of health up- yeah, if I got a bunch of health up pills, that would be magical. I'm also gonna check for the secret room, because we have plenty of bombs too. Nope. Maybe. There we go. And of course, we'll play it once and then we're gonna blow it up. Thanks, game. Thanks. Alright, I'm not gonna waste my key in the in the in I, I'm not gonna waste it. I don't have enough money to buy anything, so. No sense in going to the shop. I wish I could get this, though. Like, really badly, I wish I could get that. Alright. Best direction first. Because, you know, best direction. If you're not going that way, you're not going. Or some other silly catchphrase that some advertising person would make. To make us all hate them. There we go. That actually worked out really well. And so did that. But surprisingly, that did too. And... Like, I shouldn't have used that key on that. But since it gave me two keys back... Hell yeah! I'm glad I used a key on that. Oh, shit. Ugh. Selfless knights are the worst. And I know we had a big tirade a couple of episodes ago about how everything in this game is the worst. Still. The worst. Balls of Steel Pill was awesome, though. That's, that's the opposite of the worst. That was the best. And so are all these, you know, orbitals doing work for me. They're pretty badass. So, where's my secret room? Or not secret room, where's my item room? Where are all of my rooms? I, I guess that answers my question. So, I look silly now, I guess. Oh well, let's do this. Mini mush, sure, we need range and speed. Because we can't reroll it anyway. So, I guess now we're just a mini Whore of Babylon. Which is fine. I mean, it's not bad. I'm not gonna judge. And... Last fly. Balls of Steel is the worst of the best. I guess so. Oh, why did I waste a bomb doing that? 
I am the petite demon of everything, I guess. Which is funny, because I'm not that petite in real life. Like, I'm pretty tall. Alright. Uh, can you leapers stop leaping? Because I hate it when you do that. Like, a whole lot. Oh, that was a rock in a hard place. That kind of sucked. Alright, so we should get a secret- or we should get the devil room this time. And we'll get Gish. Little Gish. Which is amazing. Slowing tears? Yeah. I'm all about slowing tears right now. You are suddenly my favorite type of tears. That's right, Gish. Just keep shooting at me. And not actually having anything bad happen. Okay, get out of the way there. I'm just gonna use a bomb, because why the hell not? Buddy, you need to die. Like, right now. Thank you. Let's pick up our little gish, just because. And come on, two guppy items. Neither of those are guppy items. And I really want the pact. Alright, you know what? We're gonna do the dumb thing. This is the dumbest thing I could do. But I'm doing it. Because I like to live dangerously. It's no fun if you're playing it easy. So... <laughs> so yeah, this is... This is gonna be fun and super dangerous. And if I die, I have no one to blame but myself. I just did the silliest thing possible in this game. All for the sake of fun, because I want to see if I can still win. And if I can, I'll be ecstatic. How did I not kill that guy? Check that out. Three keys and our secret room. It had three useless pennies in it. And the dumb thing did not pay off. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like, right away, I died. I went from invincible to dead because I'm risky. <sighs> that was funny. That was fun. Uh, that was fun. Alright, I'm done for the night. Thanks for watching, guys. For those of you on YouTube, like and subscribe if you like that death. Because <laughs> that was just a classic. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed. Have a good night.